Hello and welcome to the Data Vigo channel. In one of the previous videos, we learned how to create map charts in Excel 365. In this video, we're going to take this skill to the next level and learn how to create map animations. This is a particularly impactful way to visualize time series data. So first, we'll discuss data preparation. Then, we will learn how to write a simple code in Visual Basic for applications. And finally, we will learn how to create an animation using an external tool. So basically, what we want to do is to use Visual Basic application to automatically create a number of map charts, which will be our frames, and then use an external tool to stitch these frames and create our animation. We're going to learn how to create map chart animations through a simple step-by-step -step process. The example that I've chosen here is the evolution of political divides in the US by visualizing every US election results in the last 100 years. Basically, what we want to do is to visualize the party, Democrat, Republican, or other independent party, who won the presidential elections in different states in the last 100 years. I managed to obtain the data that we need from Wikipedia. I performed some post-processing, which included removing election results before 1920 and replacing the letters D and R with Democrat and Republican. For simplicity, I also change anything other than D or R to other. You can find the Wikipedia page link as well as the process data from the links in the description. The first thing that we want to do is to put the data in a table. To do this, you simply select all the data, then go to the insert menu, click on table and confirm the range. When your data is structured as a table, it is much easier to refer to its rows and columns and adding or removing data from it will not have any impact on the references that have been made to it. Now let's go and create a map chart for the first election data, which is the 1920 elections. So I select the first two columns and just as we learned in the previous video, from the insert menu select maps. And here we have a map chart. To create an animation, we need to create a map chart for every election year and then export it as a picture and stitch all the pictures together. I can simply export this chart as a picture by right clicking on it and clicking on save as picture. And if I do this, this picture will be the first frame of my animation. Here in this example, we have 26 elections. So repeating this task might not be that much of an effort. However, in many cases where we're dealing with high resolution time series, we might have hundreds or thousands of data points and it will be much easier if we have a program to perform this automatically for us. Let's go back to editing our initial map. I want to create consistent map charts with uniform color coding for all the different election years. If I change the source of the data, let's say to 1996, you can see that the colors of the map change. To overcome this problem, I'm going to add three dummy rows to the table and populate them with Republican, Democrat and other. This is to make sure that we have these three categories in all the years in this order. This is a necessary step for keeping the colors of the map chart the same. So I insert three rows above the first state, which is Alabama. I'm going to give each a name and then just add Republican, Democrat and other in these three rows. Now we can reformat the legend and make the Republican states red Democrat states blue and other states gray. So I double click on the Republican text in the legend and you can see that the option menu appears. All I want to do is to change the color from automatic to red. So I select solid fill and choose the red as the color. And I can repeat the same steps for Democrat and other states. Okay, so now we have a nice chart with appropriate colors. It is best to add a suitable chart title but we will do this in the next stage and in our VBA code. We are going to use Visual Basic for Applications or VBA to automatically create map charts for each election year and export the charts as a picture and save them in a folder. In summary, these are the main steps that we need to consider in the code. For each election year, we first need to update the data series of the map chart that we created and make sure that the data for the year is chosen. Then we need to update the chart's title and finally export the chart as a picture which can be a PNG, JPEG 
or other picture formats that Excel supports. To create a VBA code, you first need to open the VBA editor. If you already have a VBA code or macro in the active spreadsheet, you can open the editor by going to the view menu, click on view macros, simply selecting one of the macros and clicking on edit. If you don't have any macros, then you need to open the editor directly by its shortcut, which is Alt F11 in PC and Function plus Option plus F11 in Mac. Since you may be new to VBA, I will try my best to explain the steps with some level of detail so you can better understand the steps and how the code works. My goal is to write a generalizable code so I could apply it to any data set or table in the future. Okay, now I have my Excel spreadsheet and the VBA editor next to each other. The first step is to create a sub function and give it a name. I'm going to go with map chart plot. So I type sub map chart plot and you can see that the function is closed with an automatic end sub. The next thing we need to do is to declare our objects and variables using dim statements. We have a table which is from the list object type and a chart which is a chart object. Here, the tbl and obchart are just random variable names that I've chosen. To make the code extendable to other tables and datasets, we will create two variables for storing the names of our target table and charts. Here, we need to find the name that Excel has given to our objects and add it to these lines. To find the table name, simply go to the formulas menu and select define name. All your tables will be in this name manager. So here my table is named table1. I can edit the name if I want but I will keep it as it is. To find the name of the chart, select it and look at the left of the formula bar to find its name. So my chart is called chart1. I'm going to add these names to the last line of codes that we had. The way we're writing this code means that if in the future we want to run the code for a different data set and a different chart which doesn't necessarily have to be a map chart, all I need to do is to use the names of the table and chart here and add them in these two lines and run the code. Now we need to set our tbl and obchart objects that we defined to the target table and chart. Okay. So now, since we want to make changes to this chart, we need to activate it. This is simply done by adding this line. The next step is to store the header row of the table in a vector variable. This will make it easier to update the chart's title. We can do this in one simple line, since our data is stored in a table structure. Now we need to create a loop, and in each iteration, update the chart's data and its title, and finally export it as a picture. The first column of the table is the name of the states, and our actual election data starts from the second column. We want to repeat the operations for all the columns until we reach the last column of the table. So we just write table.listColumns.count, which basically counts the column numbers. We need to close the loop with the next. We need to change the name of the data series in the map chart, which is the election year, and include it in the header row, so I can write Most importantly, I need to set the election data in the map chart. For this, I will create a new string variable and call it YDataRange. The address at the end gives the range as a string. Now I can replace the data in the chart with what is in the new variable. I want the title of each chart to include the text US election results, followed by the election year, which can be found in our header row. So I can write OK, so hopefully by this stage we have updated our chart, and all that is left is to export and save the chart. So I need a name for the exported picture, and I want this to have some constant like chart followed by the election year and this will make it easier for us to find this picture. Now, just to make sure that the code works correctly, we will make the chart active again. And finally, write the command for exporting charts.
The first PNG is the extension of the file, and the second one is the type of the picture. We can go with JPEG or GIF or other formats, but PNG is good enough for our animations. I'm writing this code on a Mac computer, and here VBA has a bug and gives a permission denied error if I try to add a path for the folder that I want the pictures to be saved in. So I'm not going to bother with the path, and will let VBA to save the file in whatever folder it has access to, and will try to locate this folder by a simple search. If you're a Windows user, you can add the folder path or use the same folder where your main Excel file is to save the exported pictures. These two lines have been commented out because I'm running the code on a Mac computer. Right, so let's run the code by clicking on the blue triangle. Okay, so we didn't get any errors, which is normally a good sign. You can see that the chart in my spreadsheet has been updated, and the chart title now reads US Election Results 2020, which shows that our for loop has worked. Now let's go and search for the exported pictures. I know the name of the files, so I will just search for it in the finder by typing the first part of the name. Ok, you can see that we have 26 files starting with this text, and they are all saved in this folder. I'm going to move these files to a location so that I can find them easier. In the final stage, we need to stitch these pictures together to create the animation. It's possible to do this in VBA or some libraries in Python, but the easiest solution I found is to use a website called EasyGIF. This is the website which offers a number of free services. The first one is GIFMaker, which is what we need. I can choose all my files and click on the blue button here. You have some parameters that you can tweak, but I'm not going to change anything first. Let's click on Make a GIF. And voila! You can see the animated GIF, which you can modify using the tools down here, and save it. The animation is too quick, so I can make it better by changing the delay time to, let's say, 150. That's much better. So now we can save the animated GIF by clicking on Save. And this is our final product. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned to create animations using Excel and VBA. As I mentioned, now that you have the code, you can apply it to any data and any type of chart. Let me know what you think about this video by leaving a comment. Watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time with another video on data visualization and analysis.